Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video session, we are going to see how to do web scrapping in our .NET Core Web API using HTML Agility Pack. So, you can find this HTML Agility Pack .NET Core in the NuGet package. Okay, and we are going to do some web scrapping from the YOLO pages, the restaurants of any US cities or any other categories. For that, let's create our .NET Core Web API application. Before starting the session, guys, if you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell icon so that you will get future notification from me. Let's get started. So we are going to create our new project. I'm going to create .NET Core Web API project. giving a project name click on next so i am going to create this application on dotnet core 5.0 i don't need https or open api support for now click on create it will take few seconds to create the project template so our project is created so you can see in the solution explorer we have our controller weather forecast service which is by default created by dotnet so here i'm going to add my own controller so just go to the app setting.js you can see the configurations so these are the default files given by visual studio okay next we will add our NuGet package which is html agility pack .net core so i have already downloaded this dll into my local folder i'm going to add this html agility pack .net core into my application so either you can go to tools new get package console or new get packet manager or you can download this dll or and you can add the reference so i am here doing the reference add com reference so i will browse this dll here right click on okay so our DLL has been added. You can see in the project CS project file, right? Rebuild the application and see any error is there after adding our reference. Okay, build succeed. So if I run the application now in my IIS Express, So you can see by default this weather forecast service controller is calling how it is doing so if you go to solution explorer in your properties folder there is a launch setting so you can see it's launch browser the launch url is the default one right now we are going to add our own controller and route to our own controller own method so for this let's add our own controller let's close every all the pages in the controller section adding a controller here so i'm going to add web api empty controller So giving scrapping controller here, click on add. Okay. We are going to add our HTML agility, agility pack here using HTML agility pack. Next, I'm going to write my own API. So here I'm going to write 
no need of L one anonymous. Get scrap result, right? Now I'm going to write the API. So now I'm I written this API here. So you can see HTTP client getting error. So let's add the references here. So here it is using system dot not net dot HTTP streams its IO so using system dot IO. Okay, this is the predefined method. So here you can see in HTTP client I dict I create an object HTTP client and HTTP response message. I'm doing this uh, get async with the URL. Which URL? I'm doing the get async of this particular URL. So here actually you can see in the code it is Seattle Washington. So let's add this location actually complete URL. So it is new work. So I'm going to do scrapping of this particular URL. So what I'm going to scrapping? I want I want to let's search here and see for the results are coming. So this is the results are coming. So I want to scrap this restaurant's names. So let's see here how it is. So go to inspect element. So you can see the class is business name. In this class, in anchor, there is a spam and it is showing the business name. So you can see next one if you go. So you can see it's a business name. So same thing I did here. I added the anchor and it will take the class business name, right? Then I'm looping through this HTML, uh, the headers or HTML document and adding to a list of string and returning the list of string to my web API. So this is API controller. I don't need this particular. I need directly my this URL into my browser, right? run the application so there is an error so there is something I missed I think so this one is this one this one is class okay I unfortunately delete the namespaces bracket right this one okay so it's going to weather forecast service now let's put this particular route so you can see some data is coming let's see how this we can go, you can see in Postman so that we can do a proper analysis of this data. Let's go to Postman. Copy this URL. Right. So you can see now this list of business name are coming so go to the browser and we see what I, we are getting okay so let's see this name we are getting in our result or not right we are getting from new work so if we go to here You can see the list of restaurants it is coming right so let's change our URL so I'm going to search Seattle so this is the location term I'm going to add in my API
run the application. Okay, now let's hit this URL from Postman. You can see this is coming here. Italiano Pizza Broadway. Okay, so in this way you can do web scrapping using .NET Core Web API using our HTML Agility Pack .NET Core. Guys, if you like my video, give me a like and share this video with your friends. Thank you very much.